In this lesson, we'll learn how to update the geometry in our MARI project by adding new versions to it. All right, fantastic. So I've got the same asset that we started this course on my screen here now. This is our transforming robot's head. And uh, if you want to go ahead and load up the 05 underscore begin MARI archive, then you'll be able to follow right along with me in this lesson. So um, sometimes when you're working on bigger texturing projects, you may be given an asset that isn't complete. In this case, we've got the head for our robot here. Well, obviously our robot has a body, and uh, but all we have in this file is the head. So maybe you're past the head and says, okay, the head has been approved. You can go ahead and start texturing the head. Okay, fantastic. So we can go about texturing our head, and then we, maybe we get an email or a phone call that says, all right, well, the torso is ready for you. Go ahead and start adding texture to it. Well, uh, let's go ahead and look at how we can do that here inside of Mari. I'm going to come up to the View menu under Palettes, and let's go ahead and open the Objects Palette here. And you can see inside the Objects Palette, we've got the object that was added to this project when it was created. And we have some information about that uh, project, or rather that geometry down here. So you can see here, if we look under Geometry, there's a version here. So if we drop that down, you'll notice that it just says TR underscore head. That's because there's only one version of the geometry in this particular project. But remember, we got an email saying that, hey, the torso is ready for you. Let me show you how to add that in here. Let's come up here at the, to the top. We'll right click on that TR underscore head. And let's say add version. Now, when you do this, you want to go ahead and browse to the referenced files folder. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add in TRV2, Transforming Robot version 2. Go ahead and select that guy here, and we'll go ahead and hit open. All right, fantastic. So once Mari has finished loading that in, uh, you'll notice that nothing vis visibly has changed here. We still are looking at just the head. That's because that original version is still in this project. We All we've done is we've added a second version here. And we can cycle between those right down here under version. So um, before I do this, though, let me just go ahead and uh, proceed this by letting you know that the UV layout for the head, it's actually different for the next version we just added. So with the head, we've got all of the head geometry on uh, the first UDIM here. And then we've got the neck geometry on the second UDIM. So uh, this is a great example of what happens to when the UV layout changes for an asset, which is a bad thing in the case of adding a new version. So uh, let's go ahead and switch over to our trv2.obj file. And if we zoom out on this guy, you'll notice that our transforming robot now has a torso as well as a head here. Now we did lose all the texture from his head that we'd created for that previous version. Well, I say we've lost it, but we really didn't lose it. It's just being applied somewhere else on this model. Uh, if we come over to the UV layout, you can see here that we no longer have the head laid out on UDIM 1001. So uh, if we were to orbit around here, you can see here that those textures are now being applied kind of to the to the wheel here that's on his back. So <laughs> definitely not where we would want them to be applied. So be very careful when you're adding versions to your assets as if the UV layout changes, your paint that you had applied on a previous version is, is going to be in the wrong place. So um, in the case of this transforming robot asset, three different artists worked on modeling this asset. So it was delivered to me in versions. This is, say, the second version. Let's go ahead and add in a third version. We'll come in here and add version again. This time I'll add in TRV3. just like so. And again, you'll need to come down here and switch to trv3.obj. And you can see here that the entire robot is now in this final version. So um, now there are some pieces strategically missing from this, um, but uh, I won't go necessarily into why they were left out of this OBJ file. Um, that was part of the Transforming Robot Production Pipeline. If you'd like to, to look into those projects, they are in our library. So uh, now in terms of our MARI project, we now have 
two different versions of this asset that we're not really using. Let's say that the final version has been delivered to us uh, and it's been signed off on and approved and we're ready to just texture this. So uh, we no longer need these previous two versions here. Let's go ahead and select TR underscore head. All right, fantastic. Uh, now to get rid of this version, we can just simply come up here and right click and choose to remove, excuse me, remove the version right there. And if we do, Mari's going to prompt us to actually, uh, do we want to remove version TR underscore head? And yes, we do. So uh, as soon as I remove that, you'll notice that it switches to the next version in the list, which is version 2. We don't need version 2 either because we have version 3, so we'll just come up and remove that guy as well. Just like so. And now what we're left with is a single version of this finished asset. So um, this is how you can manage the versions of uh, the geometry for your different projects here inside of Mari. Now again, keep in mind that the UV layout needs to remain the same. Uh, the geometry can change, obviously, but as long as the UV layout remains the same, you won't lose any of your textures. Another thing to keep in mind is that selection groups, like we looked at in the previous lesson, don't transfer between versions. So if we spend a lot of time creating selection groups for an early version, we would just have to recreate those for um, versions that follow that one. All right, fantastic. So with that, let's go ahead and move on to our next lesson, and we'll learn a little bit about creating custom brushes here inside Amari.